everybody. Welcome to X-Rated Radio Show. I'm your host, Truck Driving Diva. And the X and X-Rated stands for extra, and the R stands for real, raw, and ratchet. Now, I want to talk about uh, Tamar Braxton, and she has a new Vega. I guess Tamar decided to diversify her portfolio. Yes. Now, she used to date... Uh, I think he was African. He was from somewhere, I believe. And then she went all the way full Caucasian. Okay. So she's been spotted with a new bae who is an Atlanta businessman. And allegedly they've been dating for about three months and she really likes him. Okay. Now, it's funny how she has a white man now. But prior to that, she said that Um, Vince was into women with blonde hair, I guess, white women, and she started wearing blonde wigs on Steve, she said this on Steve Harvey. So, I'm not mad at her, because black women, I don't know, women in general, because I've watched other channels on women talking about dating, white women, all kind of women, and the dating scene is hard. I know for me, if I get online and I see one more grown old man with beads in his hair, like he's about to go play Wimbledon, like he should be somewhere doing double dutch, got beads in his hair, 50 years old, I'm done with dating, y'all. Like, at what point do you say, you know what, let me go get a fade. (laughs) You walking around looking like a five-year-old child at 56, okay? So, you know... It seems like with the it's more women out here than men. Okay, especially in Atlanta. I used to live in Atlanta, and I'm like, it's a snowball's chance in hell. I'm gonna meet a man in Atlanta. I I don't know. Maybe you know, maybe people got some good stories out there. So, but you know, the dating scene is different, as you can see on social media and all this stuff going on. And they want to say social media is is fake and all this, and it's not everything. I can say about when I go online to some of these uh, sites I'm online, that a lot of men aren't really serious and looking for anyone. And it's not particularly me. It's just they're not really seriously trying to be in a relationship. And I don't know why. You would think after that article of men growing lonely and old and potentially... Uh, being alone for the rest of their life would like spark some fire up there you know what and make them get some get right right but you know I don't know I guess it's it's, it's different now. it's different you know so maybe she felt like you know she wanted to try something different see if she can have a different experience you know and she was with Vince for a very very long time you know so maybe they're just you know, she just felt like she wanted to try something different. And I think the same way sometimes, like I've never dated a white man, never, you know. And they be in my own, they be in my messages, they be in my inbox. And I can say it be some, a few perverts, but for the most part, they, they kind of get in your inbox, they respectable or they act a little shy or they're not like, here go my, you know, eggplant, you want to see, you know, I don't get that much from them. They, you know, <laughs> I had one old, older Caucasian man get in my inbox and ask me to be a sugar baby. I said, honey, I might be sweet and low, but I'm a little too old to be a sugar baby. <laughs> he said he want me to be his sugar baby, honey. You know, and I was going to take him up on it, but he talking about he want emails and this and that. Like, shoot, you act like I'm applying for a job. <laughs> I guess it is technically I don't know but um, I have never dated now I've dated Puerto Rican I've dated a Chinese Jamaican he was biracial he was Chinese half Chinese and half Jamaican which is black Um, what else went on a date with a Mexican guy straight from Mexico Um, had a Mexican name and everything had the hat the belt the boots in Atlanta y'all up in a black club he must like and he had the rainbow coalition all kind of kids he told me he got half white kids half Mexican half black he got he got the whole 
whole flavor, honey, like Baskin Robbins, all the flavors, honey. And but he was really nice. He was really nice, and um. So I wasn't on a date long with him, but I went out on a date with him. So a Mexican. What else? And mainly, mostly black men, you know. And I haven't been dating anybody recently. Like I got other stuff to do, trying to get my self together so I ain't got time for nobody coming into my life throwing me off track but I do occasionally get online and see what's going on out there see if anybody you know catch my attention honey or if I want to even entertain or whatever but other than that honey I be low key chilling so Tamar got her a uh, white man and she says she and she's uh, happy you know, and you know, as black women, um, you might have to diversify your portfolio because I don't know, it's just too many, too many single black women out here, women who are in relationships, and it has nothing to do with oh, because you're ratchet, you can't find a man, because you wear blonde wigs, you can't find a man. Because you this sat no, it's women, single black women, all background, shapes, sizes, beautiful to quote unquote what you call average, those that make money, those that it's just all all types, you know, who are out here single looking for love and they may not never find it. Then you have the young women who want to potentially have a family and you know find love, have a family, have a relationship, and the pickings are slim out here, honey. The pickings are slim. So, that's all I got for this video, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the like button. It's free. Or the dislike button if you don't agree with I, what I say. But um, if you're a woman, and you feel like the dating scene is a little rough these days, even men feel the same way. Um, put a comment in the comment section and until the next video